All righty. So welcome to the biggest topic of discussion of 2019, um, the King's Island Giga Coaster. So regardless of what side of the discussion you were on, one cannot deny that King's Island is certainly looking to be getting a massive coaster for 2020 with the removal of Firehawk. What kind of coaster doesn't seem to be up for discussion in the community anymore, and everyone has hopped right on board that Giga Hype Train, and here at Amusement Insiders, you most certainly know we aren't shy of doing that neither. <laughs> um, well, let's assume in this video that Kings Island's next coaster is most certainly a B&M Giga Coaster, and hell froze over and Kings Island is finally getting that Giga Coaster being demanded for what seems like a decade now. Will it break records? That's a question. Will Cedar Fair shatter Fury's records? That's another question. And will it be even more unique than Fury? That's the third question. Well, I'm here to argue yes. So Kings Island is a park that hasn't typically bought or brought in massive crowds when they've added coasters in the past. In fact, one could argue they've even underperformed when adding coasters. Events such as Winterfest saw bigger attendance increases than the recent coaster additions over at Kings Island. Some would argue this would suggest that maybe world record coaster isn't the answer. Well, I'm going to disagree here. After lots of thought, I believe dappling in a world record giga coaster with the uh, absolute amazing layout and unique at that done by B&M will really draw the crowds to this park. Fury's limelight, a lot would suggest, is almost over as you see the hype train slowly departing the station. It's the perfect time for Cedar Fair to outdo themselves again and remain the king of the Giga Coasters. So the, to sum it up, Kings Island would be the perfect park for this and in 2020 would be the absolute perfect time to break records on a Giga Coaster. And I strongly do believe that Cedar Fair is thinking this exact same thing. Kings Island has a ton, and I'm talking massive land available to pull off something truly unique and they really need that extra oomph to get them on the national destination scale. We saw this from Leviathan to Fury, and now we'll probably see it from Fury to whatever the Kings Island's Giga Coaster's name is going to be. So with everything presented, I do strongly believe that Kings Island is going to get a world record Giga Coaster. It just makes sense. It's Kings Island's time. Kings Island is that park that really does need that standout world record coaster. And we see that the Giga Coasters really do bring in a crowd. One could also argue that Cedar Fair's mathematical equation for success at their top tier parks is a Giga Coaster, a Hyper Coaster, and then what else comes after that? We see that with Carowinds, Canada's Wonderland, Cedar Point, King's Dominion, and King's Island is definitely overdue. Um, so with that being said, I want to hear from you down below what you guys think about a world record breaking Giga Coaster for King's Island and if you agree with me or not. Hopefully you enjoyed today's video. Smash that like button if you're Team Giga and subscribe if you haven't for more awesome amusement content and share this video for others to enjoy. As always, thanks for watching guys and I hope you had an amazing weekend. Have a good one guys. Bye.